2023 has truly been the year for new trendy topics that content farms love to latch onto, huh? Oh, hi, it's me again, by the way. I'm back. We kicked off the year right away with everybody's favorite, Garten of Banban. You know Garten of Banban, Jumbo Josh, Opila Bird, everyone's favorite characters. Except not anymore, evidently, because all the content farm channels have officially moved on from Banban and instead shifted over to the next major trend from this year, Skibbity Toilet. I'll keep this brief, but not a lot has changed since my video on this topic. If anything, the craze has gotten worse. I keep seeing videos of children having skibbity toilet themed birthday parties. And you know what? Good for them. I'm glad that kids today get to experience what I did with Captain Underpants, but just on acid. It's better than kids having ban ban birthday parties at least, if that means anything. Although I'm sure those exist as well. So, if skibbity toilet still hasn't died off, what the hell is this video about then? Well, you know what they say, who said two legends can't coexist? That's pretty much what's happening right now with the likely final major content farm trend of this year, the amazing digital circus. Can I just say how much of a breath of fresh air this topic is compared to like 99% of what I've covered this year? Unlike Ban Ban, which is garbage, and unlike Skibbity Toilet, which has questionable quality at best, The Amazing Digital Circus is a genuinely great animated pilot that absolutely deserves the success it's seeing right now. Like dude, that view count is insane. But if you watch my stuff, you already know where this is going. You can't have something remotely popular on YouTube that could be targeted towards children without content farms getting their disgusting, grubby little fingers on it. And surprise, surprise, Digital Circus got hit. Hard. What is wrong with me? This is a digital world that isn't real. Oh no. What the f- <laughs> What the fuck is that? So hard that the creator of the series themselves, Gooseworks, has made multiple tweets in regards to these bizarre videos. They even dropped this tweet showing a collage of 16 different content farm video thumbnails. They didn't link to the videos or say the titles, of course, so you'd have to be a real crazy person to go through all 16 of the thumbnails and track down which videos they belong to. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be crazy. Oh, hey, um, by the way, I have a secret to tell you. Come closer and I'll say it, okay? Are you ready? I found all 16 of the videos and watched them, and now we're gonna talk about them in this video for your entertainment. So strap in everybody, as I bring you down my own personal hell, talking about the 16 amazing Digital Circus content farm videos that Gooseworks specifically decided to highlight. We'll go through the bad, the ugly, and there's no good, so the saying is gonna stop right here. Without any more delays, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, is that the iconic Uh Yeah Cinematic Universe character, Sponsor Parrot, who appeared in a singular video last year and now I'm deciding to bring back for literally no reason? <coughs> well, I guess I have one more delay then. We'll talk about Pomni Inflation comic dub soon, but first... This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Hey everyone, you ever just want to watch a piece of media or go to a certain website only to find out it's region locked? It can be the biggest bummer, let me tell ya. However, this can all be solved with a simple click of a button, thanks to today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN allows you to change your internet IP address to one of over 3,200 different servers in over 100 countries. This not only allows you to keep safe while browsing online, disguising your location in searches from those who may have malicious intent, but also allows you to access certain region lock content such as streaming services that aren't available in specific countries. It's an all-in-one tool that is crucial when using the internet in the modern day. I've used my fair share of VPNs in my day, and Surfshark is truly up there with the greats. If that sounds good, oh boy do I have a deal for you. Click the link below or scan the QR code on screen to get up to six months of Surfshark VPN absolutely free. Make sure to pick the subscription plan that works best for you and use my promo code uh, yeah, at checkout. With a 30 day money back guarantee, you really have nothing to lose. So what are you waiting for? Thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. All right, before we jump into all this shit, I should probably go over how this is gonna work. Since we are going over a whopping 16 videos today, I felt it was best to group them into different categories that I can talk about more generally. After going through every video and placing them in a category, I came up with this list. Comic dubs, 360 videos, animations, miscellaneous and gameplay, and the weird shit. And can I just say, 
there is a wide variety of super weird stuff I haven't had the chance to talk about yet on this list. So by complete accident, Gooseworks' list of random content farm videos actually gave me a decent pool of topics to cover. So let's get into it. These are the 16 Amazing Digital Circus videos from Hell. Starting off with... Comic Dubs. I think I might have the... Oh, dude, dude! I'm gonna... What the... What the... What the... F I've been aware of this genre of videos for quite a while now, but never really saw any point in talking about them until today. Comic dubs are, well, dubs of comics, usually made by people unrelated from the dubbing process. Some random person makes a comic, the channel then uses that comic and dubs over the dialogue, profit. I used to watch a few of these videos back in the day when I was more into Undertale, but other than that, I don't really have any history or real opinions on this genre. But oh boy, do I have an opinion on these videos I watched for this video. Because I may have found one of the most exploitative rabbit holes on this site full of exploitative rabbit holes. I've talked about channels using NSFW content to bait viewers, mainly children, before in a few videos. However, it's usually not too crazy, just something a little weird worth bringing up. The comic dub scene on YouTube, however, thrives on this tactic completely, and it is an actual nightmare of some of the most how is this even allowed on YouTube thumbnails ever. Like guys, it's bad, and both of the channels that ended up getting featured on the set of 16 videos use this tactic to an insane level. It wouldn't even be the end of the world if it was very obviously being targeted at adults, but when you're making videos exclusively on trendy children's topics with thumbnails like this, you know exactly what you're doing. So let's actually talk about these channels now, huh? With a whopping 2 out of 16 slots on the list, we have Cougar McDowell VA. And just one scroll down their list of videos will pretty much tell you everything you need to know about this channel. 9 times out of 10, the thumbnails of a character being embarrassed or blushing, characters in sexual poses, whatever the fuck this thumbnail is, it's all pretty grimy stuff. The content itself is, well it's something, definitely not for me. The first video I watched on the list was Pomni and Ragatha's Abstracted Love which is this overly serious comic that I had a hard time not laughing at. <laughs> I'm gonna be real, at some point it just devolves into the characters making out with some tongue action, but overall this one is harmless. The thumbnail is a little much maybe, which is why it probably landed on the image in the first place, but the actual video and the comic are whatever. Personally though, I can't take any of this seriously, I was losing at watching this for the first time. Like, it's not even that bad or that funny, but something inside me was just not holding it together, I don't know. I'm so- I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> very uncomfortable. What the fuck is happening? Ah! Not the time! But whatever. This video being kind of nothing is fine, because the next video from this channel is truly something else. This video is called, and I quote, Jax's- yes I said Jax's- slips into Pomni's kitty, and it is exactly what it sounds like it is. It's a comic strip where Jax slips and falls into Pomni's kitty and she gets super embarrassed. Truly earth shattering content here. I think a fun drinking game would be watching like a series of these videos back to back and taking a shot every time you cringe. Actually on second thought maybe don't do that because you'd probably die. Okay swap the shots for liquid melatonin and see how fast you can go to sleep. Wait no that's actually a bad idea too. Okay just don't listen to me. Just don't listen to me. The actual dubbing of these comic dubs is fine or even good for the most part. The issue comes down to picking the literal most raunchy, suggestive comics possible while still skating around YouTube's TOS. Like I said earlier, there is no way this dude doesn't know his audience is mostly kids and younger teens, so it just comes across super wrong when scrolling down their page feels more like a visit to fucking xvideos.com than a trip to the comic book store. Those were the only two videos on the list from this channel, but don't worry friends, because we aren't done yet. We still have to take a trip over to the handy dandy community tab. I don't even have anything to say here. Let me just read off some of these posts for the comedy. Pomni and Ragatha get very, very close, and let's just say they're BF. <laughs> Jax is okay with it. <laughs> Great. Jax tries to raise up Pomni just to prove he can, but keeps failing. Pomni and Jax share a very sus kiss when they are playing Spin the Bottle. Zubal is not impressed. And my personal favorite, Pomni takes a little trip to Freddy Fazbear's and Bonnie and Freddy want to play with the little clown. <laughs> Great. <laughs> really awesome channel, guys. Really glad I got to spend time talking about 
Freddy Fazbear and Bonnie wanting to play with the little clown. Okay, well, I guess I'll give each channel I cover today a rating out of 10 before I move on. I give Cougar a, uh, so you're the Chad type out of 10. Moving on. While we're done with that, we still have one more video and one more channel to cover in the comic dub section of this list. That being Comic Kates. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this channel is like definitively worse than the last one by a pretty wide margin too. If you thought the thumbnails on the last channel were bad, at least those were all unique art for the most part, these thumbnails on this channel are exclusively cropped screenshots from not safe for work comics. A lot of which is Gravity Falls for some reason, which definitely brings up a whole slate of questions I don't feel like asking today. So let's just talk about the Digital Circus video that ended up on Gooseworks' image. I have the honor of talking about the 42 second long masterpiece known as Back Problems with a little smug emoji, which is a two panel comic that has literally nothing to do with the thumbnail. What a shocker. Here, I'll explain the comic in like two seconds. Jax and Pomni are just hashtag chilling out when Jax notices that Pomni now has tits the size of bowling balls that she didn't have before. The explanation for their sudden appearance is that Kane makes her have them on during certain hours to attract a different crowd. And that's it, that's the entire comic. I told you it was only 42 seconds long. The actual content isn't really the focus here though, which might be a little hard to wrap your head around considering this is a content farm, but the sole reason these videos exist is because they have profitable thumbnails. Early YouTube had the Reply Girls and that one Game Theory thumbnail with the tits, but that shit is tame now compared to the new metas. Can't get clicks unless you have cropped hardcore porn in the thumbnail. Epic! It's honestly just really tiring, and I'm shocked YouTube hasn't taken action against these borderline TOS breaking thumbnails. I guess because it's all 2D art, it can get around any kind of automatic flags easier, but regardless, the whole thing feels scummy. This, obviously, isn't even just an issue with digital circus videos. This has been going on for years at this point, across thousands of channels. Whole thing is super lame, but at this point, you kinda just gotta expect it on this shit show of a platform. Don't get me wrong, love YouTube, but don't get me wrong, I also hate YouTube. Anyway, that's enough of comic dubs, but I'm sure we'll have more weird fetish stuff to talk about a bit later. My final ranking for comic hates out of 10 is, uh, so you're the Chad type times two out of 10. Next, 360 videos. <laughs> what are you looking at? So hey, do you remember that Google Cardboard box thing that you could put your phone into and turn it into a really scuffed VR headset? Well, around the same time that was brought into the world, so were 360 YouTube videos. The concept for them is actually kind of neat. It's a YouTube video, but you can look around anywhere in a 360, 3D space. The intended purpose for this feature is pretty obvious. Things like roller coaster POVs are showing a better look at certain rides at places like Disney World or Universal. However, this is just the intended use. There's nothing stopping people from making their own 360 videos on whatever insane topic they want to. And today, we have the honor of looking at not one, but two different 360 videos about the amazing digital circus. Now on paper, that may sound kind of cool. Like maybe it's a 360 view of the circus grounds and you get to go on a tour with Kane throughout the different locations from the pilot, almost like an interactive experience of sorts. The potential for this to be genuinely cool is there. So let's take a look at what we have to watch today. Oh, oh. Oh! Surprise, surprise. Instead of something actually kind of cool, we get to take a look at the bottom of the barrel 360 garbage. Fun. The first of these two videos is from a channel called Multiverse 360 VR. Their entire shtick is getting AI generated 360 environments that are still 2D instead of 3D by the way, so it looks extra shit and slapping a bunch of transparent GIFs of related characters everywhere. How these get any consistent views is beyond me. This might be the most soulless content I've ever seen on a website full of soulless content. The only other channel that's more soulless than this one is the next channel on the list. But we'll get to that in a bit. Let's talk about the video featured in Gooseworks' image from this channel. Skibbity Toilet sings the amazing Digital Circus theme. Remember earlier when I said two legends can coexist at the same time? This video is 100% factual proof of that statement. All right, we got our AI generated 2D 360 background, check. Random character green screen scattered all over the place, check. And a mashup of the Digital Circus main theme in the Skibbity Toilet song, check. Wow, this is a bingo. Oh, hi, Bubble. 
I feel like I'm gonna summon a demon. What the? Okay. What are you looking at? Hello? This is pretty high tier content if you ask me. It's like a Wagyu steak, it's beautiful. Jokes aside, I don't know what it is about this specific mashup they used here, but it makes me feel like my skin is peeling off. Like it's so unsettling, and for what? The green screens they use for this are high key, low key, kind of terrifying as well. Most of them look like what I imagine the digital circus characters would look like if you ripped their souls right out of their digital bodies. Pomni, and especially Jax, got hit pretty hard in this department. I think what makes this whole thing just a tad more unsettling than I already thought it was, is that close to the end of the video, I guess they just forgot to loop the green screens, because one by one the characters just stop in place and never start moving again. The one exception to this is the skibbity toilet, which never stops moving the entire video. You go girl, you're a, you're a real champ. You know, what a shame I can't watch 1-2 Buckle My Shoe with Mr. Beast 360 or Banana Cat Sings the- <coughs> That's pretty much all I can even say about this. I'm surprised I got that much out of this to begin with being real. While we may be done covering this AI slop channel, we still have one more to go before we're done with the 360 videos. I give Multiverse 360 VR a skibbity toilet out of 10. Gamebox is up next, and they might win the award for worst thumbnail so far. Might, it's a close battle. But let's just say this channel feels like the Chad type. This channel, just like the last one, specializes in 360 YouTube content using AI generated 2D 360 backgrounds. The twist this time is that Pomni is tied up in BDSM ropes in the thumbnail. The twist this time is that these 360 videos are actually a game of Where's Waldo, except replace Waldo with a random PNG of Pomni and the locations from the fun 2D drawings with lots of people to a bland, random, AI-generated piece of scenery. Also, if you are wondering, the thumbnails on these videos have literally nothing to do with the actual content of the videos. Sorry if you are looking forward to whatever this is, but the videos themselves are actually quite tame. Anyway, the video we get to take a look at is called The Amazing Digital Circus Finding Pomni Game 360 VR6. I guess we're just skipping one through five then? Fuck it, we don't need them. Six is the godfather of this series anyway. Probably. We start the video off with a message from Kane, who surprisingly does not use an AI voice of the actual voice actor from the pilot. Don't get me wrong, it's a good thing they didn't do that, but that feels like the kind of thing you'd expect from one of these slop channels, you know what I mean? Anyway, Kane tells us to find Pomni in many mods, which means nothing in the context of this video, but I can almost guarantee you the word mods is only used here because of Friday Night Funkin'. That game made it a super popular buzzword to use when describing a character being in a place they aren't normally in. Like, look guys, I modded Pomni into generic AI generated anime land number 876. Wow! And the rest of the video is literally just that. It's a set of AI generated locations with Pomni slapped in them and you have to look around the 360 space to find her. There is nothing else to talk about here, so we're moving on. Taking a look at these 360 videos was a fun little detour into a world I haven't really given any attention to before. I'm sure there is much better stuff in this genre than I didn't cover today, and I'm sure there is much worse, if you can even imagine that. I give Gamebox a tied up Pomni out of 10. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about a classic staple in the content farm industry. That being, oh, animations. This is more like it, huh? Some good old animation content farm videos. Truly a classic in the genre. I'll take it over comic dubs and 360 videos at this point, I'll tell you that. I don't have anything else to yap about, so let's hop on over to our first of four animation channels for today. The Rabbit Family. If you were to take a look at their channel right now, you'd probably be a little shocked to find out how new it is. Their oldest upload is from less than a month ago, and they already have 20,000 subscribers. So what gives? Well, the name The Rabbit Family will probably make more sense when I tell you that this channel actually nuked all their old videos from the public eye. It takes about two seconds of looking around, however, to find a playlist of all their old videos. These consist of animations featuring, you guessed it, a rabbit family. And in an almost shocking turn of events, none of these older videos latch onto any trends or popular media to get views. They are literally just simple children's animations, and as far as I can tell, are entirely original content. Yeah, uh, actually update on this one while I'm editing it, they nuked their entire channel while I was in the middle of making this video, <laughs> apparently? Like, the channel's still up and the videos are still there, I think they're private or something. But their actual channel is just like, in shambles right now. I don't know what the hell happened. All their Digital Circus videos are like, 
wiped off the face of the fucking planet Earth. So, I can't show you footage of any other videos and the Rabbit Family stuff. It's all gone. I don't know. Just letting you know. <laughs> However, they must have found out the hard way that original content in the content farm space rarely does well. Because they have done a complete 180 and now exclusively do digital circus animations. And, to nobody's surprise probably, these new digital circus videos are already doing significantly better than their old content ever did. But I guess when you're putting pregnant Pomni and whatever this is in your thumbnails, they're bound to do better. All right then, what amazing content awaits us in The Amazing Digital Circus Episode 5, Pomni and Jack's Love Story, The Amazing Digital Circus? Honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> Are you from Teen Titans Go? Why do I know that? Oh, she got run over by a car. Brian Griffin. What the fuck? Usually when one of these content farm animation videos is like 17 minutes long, it means that only the first minute or so is actually new content, and the rest is just recycled older videos to pad out the runtime. But this one is different. This is one 17 minute long animation. Now, is it good? No. But I'm still kind of impressed. Although I can't actually back this up, so don't quote me here, this animation kind of just seems like they took an existing animation file they had and replaced the characters. Because other than the digital circus characters being in this, it has nothing to do with the source material. Less than usual, in fact. This actually seems like a repurposed Teen Titans Go content farm video of all things, since most of the extra characters that aren't from the digital circus come from that show. Although that still doesn't really explain the dynamic of the main characters here, because Jax and Ragatha are like, parents in this? Parents to Kane and Pomni for some reason? The title is just a flat out lie by the way. If this was a Jax and Pomni love story in the context of this animation, Jax would probably be in a fucking prison cell for multiple crimes. Within the first two seconds of this video, it's already revealed that Ragatha is dead. But don't worry, she comes back as a Star Wars Force Ghost slash JoJo stand later to save the day. I could sit here and try to explain what happens in this 17 minute long Teen Titans Go animation made for children, but I think I'll pass that offer up and just move on to something else. I give the Rabbit Family a uh, Raven is the best Teen Titans character out of 10. The next animation we have the pleasure of taking a look at today actually has to do with the source material more than just using the characters which besides the comic dubs, has been a rare occurrence so far in this video. Gummy Dora is a generic animation content farm channel in the same boat as something like Game Tunes. They just make your average, run-of-the-mill animations based on popular media for children. Well, as average as content farms can be at least. Once again, lots of questionable thumbnails here, but that should be expected at this point, considering that's the reason all these videos were lumped together in the first place. Anyway, we get to take a look at Pomni Daily Life But Fall in Love with Jax? The Amazing Digital Circus Animation, which is a video that features one, count them, one digital circus animation that lasts about two minutes, and the rest of the nine minute runtime is filled with skibbity toilet animations. Awesome. I really do wonder how much crossover there is between kids who like digital circus and kids who like skibbity toilet. It feels like it'd be way lower, but these channels just seem to love lumping them together, even though they are very different. I'll give you a quick rundown of this short animation. Pomni abstracts, eats Jax, Kane saves them, then Jax and Pomni have an accidental, embarrassing love moment, then it cuts to Skibbity Toilet iPad baby videos. It's mostly harmless being real, and I will give it props for actually taking place in the digital circus, something I can't really say for the next two animations we're about to cover. I'll give this one a Pibby virus out of 10. Speaking of those two animations, let's talk about them. Before I start, I should probably quickly mention something. These animations are made by completely different channels and are animated in similar but very obviously different ways. Just keep that in mind, okay? Pomni in the Amazing Digital Circus But Cute in Garden of Ban Ban by the channel Toon Burger is an animation where Bitter Giggle from Garden of Ban Ban is watching the Amazing Digital Circus on TV with Queen Bouncelia. Bitter Giggle gets scared when Kane looked at them on the TV, and Queen Bouncelia goes to make popcorn. Said popcorn eventually burns, Kane becomes real, and the animation ends. Pretty straightforward, short animation, right? Okay, the next animation by 
Hulu Wulu Animations called The Amazing Digital Circus But Cute Daily Life is an animation where Choo Choo Charles from Garden of Ban Ban, I mean Choo Choo Charles from Choo Choo Charles, is watching The Amazing Digital Circus on TV with a skibbity toilet TV head. Choo Choo Charles gets scared when Kane looks at them on the TV, and the TV head goes to make popcorn. Said popcorn eventually burns, Kane becomes real, and the animation ends. Did you notice any similarities there? It's almost like someone here is copying! Not only is the plot structure between these two animations almost identical, there are multiple lines of dialogue that are the exact same between the two. As far as I can tell, these two content farms are not related in any way. Their style is different, the editing is different, these are very different for content farm standards. So, the only conclusion I can even come to here is that there's some plagiarism going on in the content farm community. So, to answer the question that's probably on everyone's mind, who plagiarized who? Well, here's the kicker, and you're not gonna believe this. These two animations were uploaded on the exact same day. Yes, I am not kidding. Both of these videos were uploaded on October 28th of this year, and even if one came out later than the other on the same day, I doubt they would have enough time to copy a whole ass animation that fast. The only conclusion I can come up with now is that these content farms must have some sort of group chat or discord where they just share scripts to steal from each other. The day the content farm group chat leaks will be one to remember, I can feel it. Anyway, that's pretty much everything interesting about these two animations. But the situation was too weird not to talk about. I give both of these channels a uh, me and the boys when the group chat leaks out of 10. Time for some non-animation stuff, such as gameplay videos and other weird stuff I couldn't fit into any other category. In this section, I'm gonna quickly go over the two gameplay videos that were included on Gooseworks' image, alongside the two miscellaneous videos that I couldn't really fit anywhere else. I barely have anything to say about these entries, so I'd rather not spend too much time on them. With that out of the way, Baby Stuck on Roof with Pomni for 100 Days, The Amazing Digital Circus. I respect making this kind of content, I guess, to like some degree. Cause get your bag, but I mean, two hours of this, I would probably kill myself. Fun fact about this video, this is the only video featured on Gooseworks' image that actually changed their thumbnail after the tweet went up. Who knows what the actual reason for that is, but it's funny to just assume them being included in that tweet prompted them to change the thumbnail. This video is two hours long, has some of the most annoying commentary I've ever had to sit through for one of these videos, and is like borderline not a digital circus video for 50% of the runtime. The main game being played here is some game that looks like that old viral game, Who's Your Daddy? But it's very clearly not that game. I would look up what it's called, but I think not knowing is actually way funnier. Throughout the video, the baby collects the fucking Digital Circus Boss Baby Avengers Force, and by that, I mean a bunch of other players LARPing as Digital Circus characters as random babies in the game. Eventually, they get sucked into the Digital Circus, and it becomes a Roblox RP video for pretty much the remainder of the runtime. I feel like this guy is what people think Think Noodles is, like 24-7 in his videos. And don't get me wrong, it's close, but this guy just does not turn it off. I'm not a baby, so I can't really gauge this properly, but I at least think I would hate this if he showed it to me from 17 years ago. I give this gameplay video a PewDiePie Who's Your Daddy Let's Play out of 10. Next we have Trapped Inside the Amazing Digital Circus in Roblox, which is literally just a pretty standard Roblox video for kids. The thumbnail on this one isn't even that crazy. I have no idea why this one was included. The only funny thing I can even talk about here is that in the video, the guy who voices Red from Rainbow Friends is just doing a shitty Donald Trump impression for the voice, and it's way funnier than it has any right to be. Oh my gosh, look at the what the fuck? Oh, my headache is so bad right now. Why does Red look like that? That's not what Red looks like. The fuck? Time to role play. I have very, very big news. Why is he Trump? Why, why is he Trump? I give this one a small loan of a million dollars out of 10. Okay, that's it for gameplay content. Now we have whatever this is. <laughs> so this is just a gotcha life video where the characters from Digital Circus are reacting to Digital Circus TikToks, and that's it. Listen, I told you I didn't have much to say about these. I guess I can comment on how fucking funny Kanger looks as a gotcha life character. Like he looks like a potato wearing a robe. Bonus points for creativity, I guess, but that doesn't stop it from being very funny. I give this one an uh yeah posture gotcha life video out of 10. Finally, we have the last video in this section, Top 8 Memes, Pomni x Jack Ship, The Amazing Digital Circus Animations by Stingo Animation. From the title and channel name, you'd probably think that this is an animation channel. But since it's in this section and not the other one from earlier, 
It clearly isn't. No, this is actually a reaction channel disguising itself as an animation channel to trick children into watching them. For a while, it was pretty obvious these videos were reactions, considering the guy plastered his face in the thumbnails, but as of recent, there has been a hard push on this channel to not do that and instead LARP as an animation channel to try to get more viewers. And looking at these view counts, it isn't really working. <laughs> How a channel with over a million subs struggles to get a thousand views on a video that's been up for almost 24 hours is beyond me, especially when their most popular video has that many views. But I guess if you lie to your audience enough, they'll eventually get fed up with you and go watch the actual animations being reacted to here. It's not like this is any sort of meaningful commentary either. This whole channel is just one of those channels that takes animations and compiles them together into one bigger video, but with like one extra step of effort to make the content look more original than it actually is. Whatever, I'm done with this one. I don't have anything to say about the actual video from the image. I just wanted an excuse to rant about this sleazy ass channel. I'll give it a make your own content out of 10. We're coming down to the wire now. Only three videos left to talk about, and they're all from the same channel. If you thought some of the stuff I talked about already was weird, you haven't seen anything yet, because this is the weird stuff. I'm aware of Digital Circus, but I have not seen Skibbity Toilet. This is easily going to be the weirdest segment of the video, hence why I saved it for the very end. Unlike the other videos on this list, I'm not going to be talking about the specific videos listed in the image. The only way to do this topic justice is to go about everything more generally. So that's what I'm gonna do. Got that? Great. Time for Pomni Inflation. Yep! Shorter, really show me. Wow, you look so cute when you're this small. How do you this is genuinely unnerving? Like, I don't know, like, maybe no one else agrees with me. This is like, this shit is genuinely scary. Like, this is fucking un okay. holy thumbnail, fucking hell. What the okay, like I just said, all three of these videos are made by the same creator. The creator in question is Corn Gak. And oh boy, is there a bit of a rabbit hole here. On the surface, this is just another run of the mill content farm milking not safe for work thumbnails and titles to bait kids into watching them. However, these videos target even more specific fetishes. To use two of the videos from the Gooseworks image, for example, one of them is inflation and the other one is transformation. All these videos feature super weird and unsettling visuals of the digital circus characters with super whack proportions and the voices are these kind of creepy AI voices. The whole thing just feels alien. That transformation video, for example, the whole thing only uses two actual drawings. The rest of the runtime is carried by the text-to-speech voices talking about weird stuff. We'll just put it like that, sure. You could argue that a lot of what I've talked about in this video is concerning, but this is like actual fetish content targeted at kids. Maybe you can make the argument that Digital Circus isn't inherently a children's property, so making stuff like this should be fine. I wouldn't agree with you, but fine, I'll bite. You know what is definitively targeted at kids? Skibbity Toilet, which they were making the exact same type of content for just a month ago. This channel is plain and simple, targeting children with popular franchises they would be familiar with and funneling them through an unironic pipeline to weird, not safe for work content. Maybe you still think I'm overreacting. I think you're crazy, but I have more proof. Do you wanna know what Corn Gak has? A Patreon a Patreon that is directly linked in the description of every one of their YouTube videos. A Patreon that is marked as 18 plus right on the front of it. With the demographic of these videos surely being mostly minors, linking a gateway to 18 plus material in the description of all your gateway fetish videos isn't really a good look. This whole video today taught me that YouTube doesn't really care what's being shoved in the kids' faces. As long as there's money to be made, the path to get there doesn't matter to them. It's very depressing being real. But I don't wanna end this video on a low note, so let's wrap up here. Even if we saw some of the weirdest, grossest YouTube content out there today, we also saw some of the funniest at the same time. And I don't regret going down this rabbit hole and shedding some light on some of this stuff. Digital Circus is a really cool pilot, and I wish the team well in creating the future episodes. Hopefully the content farm stuff slows down as well, but uh, <laughs> good luck with that. Sorry for the kind of long break I took there, by the way, but I'm hopefully back on a more regular upload schedule from here on out. Anyway, enough out of me. I'll end things here. I've been a uh, yeah, and I'll see you all next time. Oh, and before I go, make sure to check out Surfshark VPN using the link in the description. Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs>